The following content has been provided by RWTH Aachen University. All right, so now we're going to um, continue on with the history of, of user interfaces, and I'd like you to, to give you a little uh, sort of wake-up call. This is a short sort of message from our sponsor introduced here. All right, thank you, Steve Bomber, for uh, starting off a wonderful series of entertaining and inspiring ads and, and uh, pre uh, sort of stage presentations. This was Microsoft Windows uh, 1.0, the advertisement that, they, uh, that Steve Ballmer there uh, gratuitously created. So uh, what were the key things that happened in Windows? Windows um, came out in 1985, so quickly following um, the Mac, obviously. Um, and the, what's interesting is if you look at this, you, this design and compare it to what the uh, Alto, Star, or Mac user interface looked like, there, it, it almost seems like it's a, it's a step back in the way of, of, you know, it looks more like somebody took a text editor and tried to build something that looks like a GUI, right? So it's less, less flexible in a way. It seems you know, curiously aligned to certain uh, you know, uh, columns and, and rows here. Um, but it did one important thing. It brought the whole idea of graphical interaction that the Alto and the Star had pioneered, that the Mac had made sort of commercially viable um, to the huge population of people who by now had bought the IBM PC and you know, were running the DOS operating system. And later also, or around the same time, this also you know, brought these things to Unix. So um, the GUI is actually you know, sort of um, not really an innovation or an improvement about over what we saw before. Um, there were, for example, in this Windows 1.0 version, there were no overlapping windows. So it was more like you know, windows next to each other, but not overlapping. Um, we call this a tiling um, screen uh, layout policy. We'll talk about this more in DIS2, what the um, advantages and disadvantages of that are. Um, so there will be more on uh, windows in general. Um, and of course, the many, many versions that came after that and how they improved um, if you attend Designing Interactive Systems 2 in the summer. This content was provided by RWTH, Aachen University.